All right, today we're going to graph inequalities. Two things you need to remember when you have greater than or less than, it is an open circle. If it's less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, it is a closed circle. Okay, so you want to remember that on your graph it would look like an open circle or a closed circle. And that is because when it is greater than or less than, if you say, for example, x is greater than 2, x could not be equal to 2. So your circle would be at 2. Where if it's x is greater than or equal to 2, it could be equal to 2. So we include that by showing it's a closed circle. Okay? So when we graph x is greater than 2, at 2 we have open circle because it's just greater than. The numbers that are greater than 2 are to the right. b is greater than or equal to 1. That is closed circle at 1. The numbers that are greater than or equal to 1 are to the right. Now, other ways, if you kind of get confused as to which way you shade, look at this is greater than. It matches the arrow. Okay, so you're going to shade that way. That only works if your variable is on the left. Okay, just so you know that. Z is less than 3. Open circle, because it's less than. Less than numbers to the left. Also, that area matches your symbol. A is less than or equal to 6, so at 6 we have a closed circle, less than or equal to is to the left. And that's a little intro on graphing inequality. So here are some you tries. Make sure to take note whether you should have open or closed circle. Go ahead and try those and we'll go over them in the next class. Pause the video, but I'm going to go on. All right, solving inequalities by addition and subtraction. These are basic one step where we just have to add or subtract to solve it. So same solve with the same steps you take to solve an equation, which means imagine if that were just an equal sign. Okay, if it's x minus 8 equals negative 6, what we do is we're just going to add 8, add 8, so we get x, those would cancel less than or equal to negative 6 plus 8 is 2. Now when you do not have your number line already numbered, as in the first examples that we did, you put your number, put one above it and one below it, okay, just to give us a range there. Less than or equal to is closed, less than is to the left. Okay, so right here, imagine if there was, were an equal sign. We would have to get m by itself, so how we get m by itself is we add 8. Okay, it's not an equals, it's a greater than, so we're going to have m is, it's actually less than, negative 6 plus 8 is 2, or 2 is greater than m. Now, what I'm going to do is flip that around. Basically, you flip the whole thing around. m is the small point, the less than sign is headed toward m, so less than and 2, and 2's got the greater than towards it. Okay, just to make it easier for graphing sake, I have 2, I'm going to put a 3 and a 1, less than opened, less than is to the left. Okay, it just, I like my variable on the left so that when I graph, I know I'm always, like if it's less than, I'm going to the left. Where I look at this, it says 2 is greater than, it doesn't mean I go to the right there because my variable is on the right. Okay, so I would have to flip it. So that's why I always change to right like this. You don't have to can to make it easier. The next one, x plus 3 is greater than negative 5, so I get x by itself by subtracting 3. That cancels, x is greater than negative 8. So I have negative 8. Remember, when it's negative, it goes negative 7 is up and negative 9 is down. Greater than, open, and then numbers greater than are to the right. 2 is greater than a plus 8 to get a by itself. I need to minus 8. 2 minus 8 is negative 6. Those cancel. I'm going to flip that around. A is less than negative 6. So I have negative 6, negative 5, and negative 7. Um, that is open, less than to the left. Looks like that. Okay. Next ones we're going to do are taking a verbal sentence and writing our inequality. Okay. So, the sum of a number, so there's our number, you can use n, you can use x, use whatever you want, and 8, so n plus 8, is less than 12, just like that. It's the direction said solve and graph. So we will minus the 8, 12 minus 8 is 4, on our graph we have 4. 
uh, 3 and 5. Uh, less than is open and less than to the left. 40, no greater than. All right, so 40 is no greater than, which means it has to be less than or equal to. Okay, no greater than means it has to be less than or equal to the difference, which means subtract, of a number and 2. So x minus 2. Solve that. We add 2. We get 42 is less than or equal to x. I'm going to flip that around. x is greater than or equal to 42. So 42, go 44 and 40, greater than or equal to, so that is closed, greater than to the right. A number decreased by, that means subtract, so a number decreased by 4 is less than 14. Get x by itself, we add 4, gives us x is less than 18. So to graph that, 18 less than is open, less than to the left. The sum, sum means add, of a number in 6, so x plus 6, is greater than or equal to negative 4. Solve it, you minus the 6, you get x is greater than or equal to negative 10. So negative 10, greater than or equal to means closed, greater than to the right. Okay, that is it for solving and then writing as an inequality, solving and graphing. So here are some U tries to the solving, to where you have to write the inequality, then solve and graph. And that's it for topic one. Okay, pretty simple. So go ahead and do all the U tries and we will go over them tomorrow.